to si Owi. Sabi ko, parang hindi kami mabubuhay. Del sanay ako sa sweldo ko for the past 14 years, napataas ang sweldo, na times three higher sa asawa ko. So sabi ko, Lord, anong gagawin ko? During that time, I'm so confident. Sabi ko, one year lang ako mag full-time mom. One year lang. After one year, balik ako sa trabaho ko, kaya ko magbayad kahit apat na yaya kay Onyx. Iba ang yaya sa umaga, sa tanghali, sa gabi, hanggang pagpapatulog. Kaya ko bayaran yon. But never did I know that the Lord is telling me something in my life. Now, time goes by. Naging full-time mama ko, but not still. I don't have any relationship with God. Si Onyx was trained to be a vegetarian since birth. No meat, no fish. Alam niyo kung bakit? Hindi pa ako nag-base sa spirit of prophecy nito. Wala pa akong health, health message na alam. Nag-research lang ako kasi nung nanganak ako sa kanya, ang laki ko. Sabi ko, gusto ko lang pumayat. So, na-research ko sa internet, madali daw makapayat, walang fish, walang meat. So, ginawa ko. Pero hindi pa rin spiritually inclined to glorify God through my body. Kaya na-adapt ni Onyx yung pagkain namin sa bahay. So, that's the reason of that. So, she was trained in missionary work, but still my heart is not with that. Kanta, kanta, crusade kung saan saan. She was trained that way. But you know what? Bakit ko gusto to? Not because I'm working for the Lord. Not because of that. I'm a full-time mom that, that, that time, but I don't have spiritual relationship with God. Alam niyo kung ba't gusto ko siya pakantahin? Ewan ko, mami, kung nararamdaman niyo team before. When the child sing, and then many pray, ang galing naman ang anak mo, congratulations, mommy. And then I will tell that person, praise the Lord. But it's not, I'm praising myself because magaling akong nanay. The world will judge you of how good parent you are and a mother. But you know what? In reality, wala akong iyayabang sa Panginoon. That's the reason why I dig more. Lord, hindi ito. Tanggalin mo to sa puso ko. And it is only by clinging to God each and every day. Ano ang purpose ko sa mundong ito? Bakit ako nag full-time mom? Tapos yung apat na taon na yun, grabing struggle. Grabe ang tiniis sa akin ng aking asawa. And I praise the Lord that I have a husband who understood me and have a relationship with God. Kasi kung iba lang ang napangasawa ko, iwanan na ako. I came to a point that I went to go back to work because the salary is not enough. Sinabi ko sa asawa ko, Daddy, ikaw na lang mag-alaga kay Onyx. Nurse ka naman, may subject ka naman ng child care. Mas maaalagaan mo kaysa ako ang mag-alaga. Kasi kung babalik ako ng trabaho, mas kaya kitang buhayin. I don't have respect anymore with my husband. Four years had passed. And each morning, one, night, one early morning, 3 a.m., nagising ako sa kwarto namin yung bed namin nandito nakahiga ako nandito sa paanan ko si Owi nakaluhod umiiyak nananalangin sa Panginoon for years verbally abused you know gusto kong durugin si Owi ng salita ako kasi nahihinaan ako sa asawa ko hindi ko alam yung kahinaan niya pala ay strength sa Panginoon na he relies on the Lord pag tinatanong ko siya 100 na lang ngayong week sanang bigas natin lagi niya lang sasabihin sa akin mommy let's pray the Lord will provide hindi ko maintindihan yon. nagagalit ako sa kanya sabi ko sa kanya pwede ka naman mag pray pero gawan mo ng paraan ang hina mo Pero hindi ko maintindihan, hindi pala yung kahinaan. Ang lumuhod sa Panginoon ay kalakasan. Nakita ko siya, lumuluhod, nananalangin. Hindi ko alam, ito palang panalangin niya sa apat na taon. Sabi niya sa Panginoon, Lord, wala na akong magagawa. Asawa ko na si Weng. Praise the Lord. You see how important it is, young women, to marry a husband in the Lord? Kahit gano'ng kasama ang ugali mo, hindi ka niya iiwan. Fathers, if you find your wives very irritating na at gusto nyo nang iwan, iluhod nyo sa Panginoon. Don't ever get tired of praying for your wives. Pinapanalangin niya na dubating ang panahon, I cannot change my wife anymore, but please change my wife. Alam ko, ikaw na makaka-change. Then that day came. My mother died. It was a sudden death that nobody in the family was prepared. It was the most painful day of my life. I even asked the Lord, Lord, ano bang plano mo? Hindi ko alam kung sang direksyon mo ako dadalhin. Dito ba ako sa bahay? Lang? Na sinasabi ng mga tao? Na sa four corners lang ang bahay? Padideen, paliguan, pakainin lang si Onyx, palitan ng diaper lang ang gagawin ko araw-araw? Ito lang ba? 
And then suddenly, after two weeks, my mother died. Naglinis ako sa bahay namin sa Union. Doon pa kami nakatira sa NPUC. Habang naglilinis ako, maraming bookshelves sila, Mami Esther doon. Nahulog ang isang libro. I, that book, alam niyo ko ano? The Desire of Ages. That book changed my perspective a lot, being a wife, being a mother. At nalaman ko kung anong silbi ko sa mundong ito. Because you know, society look down to full-time moms. Lagi na lang sasabihin sa'yo, nasa bahay ka lang. Sayang pinag-aralan mo. Yan lang ang alam mong gawin. But this desire of ages taught me the value, my value in the sight of God. The desire of ages taught me the life of Jesus from very the beginning na pinanganak siya hanggang napako siya sa skuros at hanggang nag-ascend siya. At doon ako nahiya sa Panginoon. And each time I read, I was so addicted to it. And each time, uuwi, si uuwi galing mamsi at makakain ng lunch. May sinasabi ako sa kanya na awakening ko, Daddy, kaya ka pala ganito, kaya ka pala ganito, Friday night, Wednesday night, Sabado hanggang gabi, hanggang linggo, nasa church ka. Hindi ko yun maintindihan before. Galit nagalit ako kay Owi ang OA sabi ko OA naman to sa ministry alam mo pa sinabi ko kay Owi during that time alam mo Owi OA ka sa ministry lalagpas ka na sa langit nung nalaman ko na ganun pala ang buhay ng Panginoon nahiya ako parents you know I really understand if you came from a family na akala nyo yun na ang right parenting you can break the cycle. You can kneel down to the Lord and pray and enlighten you because when I read the desire of changes, as a mother, naabago ang perspective ko kasi nakilala ko ang Panginoon. And after the desire of ages, I was so addicted already with the spirit of prophecy, desire of ages, child guidance book, Adventist home, Pertrex and prophets, prophets and kings, acts of the apostles, steps to Christ, messages to some young people and so on. I desired to grow more in the sight of the Lord as a mother. And that was the time Wow! I know now my ministry, Lord. I know now the child that you have given me in my womb. This is my ministry. I will train this for her to be a light in this dark world. And that was the time inako ko na ang edukasyon ni Onyx. I read so many books, so many parenting books, but nobody can match. Nothing can match. No book can match the spirit of prophecy, the child guidance book. Tinanggal ko ang television niya at the age of three years old. So I go, Lord, paano yan? Wala na entertainment si Onyx. Ano bang gagawin ko? Wala na ang TV. Pinaaral ko po ng piano. Tapos maraming mga parents magsasabi ko, wala man yan, wala man TV. Inhinder niyo kasi yun. Pero you know what? There's a big television out there that the children can watch. The birds sing, the insect crawling, no? And the trees are, the flowers are blooming. So tinanggal namin yun. We do gardening. We do, we do nature. And each time we go out, pinapasulat ko si Onyx Lord. Nak saan mo nakita ang Panginoon? Nakita mo ba sa petchay, sa grass, sa kamatis? Saan mo nakita ang Panginoon? Can you share? And then starting at the age of seven, she write. And those write-ups, I really cry because each time I read, I'm learning from her. So she started writing about that. And I really don't know that a malunggay tree can teach you humbleness. You know the malunggay tree, right? Pag mataas na, hindi na fresh yung leaves, kailangan mo i-cut. So that's a story of humbleness. You need to cut yourself for you to bloom again and to have fresh leaves. And then she wrote it, and I was, I was really crying. And then one time... A writer saw that kind of, of ministry that we have each time I share in our ministry page. And that woman told me that write-up of Onyx can be, a, can be a message to the whole world, can enlighten people. We can laugh, like how can you see Jesus in grass? But my daughter saw Jesus in grass. My daughter saw Jesus in Petchai. And all of that, I compiled. And at the age of 12, we produced that book. And until now, my heart goes to the Lord because this book went to the jail conference already, to SSD, and to many parts of our church school na ginagamit nila for week of prayer, for their Bible study for little kids. And I didn't know the special moment with my child walking in the nature and the two of us bonding together about Jesus will be a light to many children in this world. It's not me. It's because of God. And I cherish the moment, the bonding moment, that when Onyx will grow up, and the, where did you learn that? She will tell the people that I learned that from my mommy, not from the stranger or anybody else in this world. And what a great privilege that I had with her during his, her early childhood years. Hindi ko na po isa-isahin at napakarami pa po nito, no? Isa-summarize ko na po. That ministry I had with my child. And when the right time came, many 
uh, many parents came to us and um, asked for, for guidance. Paano namin gagawin ito, ma'am? Gusto ko ganito, ganito. Left and right, no? I didn't know that my ministry inside my small room will reach many parents now. And I really don't know how the Lord began it, but the, the spirit of prophecy is true. Before you minister to other people, minister first to the flock that the Lord entrusted you. There's so many challenges. Many parents came, left and right. They were baptized by the help of the Holy Spirit. And I cannot count anymore right now how many parents right now are doing this. And praise the Lord for the humbleness of teachable na heart na binigay sa kanila. Because through that, no, the Lord also accepted them. That They accepted also Jesus as their personal Savior in their life. And they are training also their children in the way of the Lord. See, mommies, it's not because you are inside your home you cannot do ministry. You can be a powerful testimony to other people as long uh, ayusin nyo muna ang household ninyo. Kasi pag nasira ang household ninyo, the, 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 the or well-ordered home is a powerful testimony to the people that you can share. And as I end, and as I end, mommies, you don't need to be a preacher. The mother who trains her children for Christ is truly really working for God as is the minister in the pulpit. Your children will not remember how great of an employee you are or how cushioned the bank account was, but they will remember you if you were them for there or not. And this light, I am leaving you. Darating ang panahon, mga nanay, when the judgment shall sit and the book shall be open and the when the well done of a great judge is pronounced, the crown of immortal glory is placed upon the brow of the victor. Many will rise their crown, we raise their crowns in sight of the assembled universe and pointing to their mother, they will say, she made me all I am through the grace of God. Her instruction, her prayers have been blessed to my eternal salvation. Mommy, this is our reward and this will be our graduation day and with an honor and a privilege to crown by God and then ang ating mga anak pag nakita natin sa Tree of Life that we will have a reunion, tatayo ang ating mga anak. At sasabihin niya sa assembled ng mga tao, kaya ako nandito ngayon dahil sa tulong ng aking ina, dahil tinulungan siya ng Panginoon. And that is the greatest reward, mamis, na pwede nating makuha sa atin sa darating na panahon. Mamis, I know this is hard for you. Maybe narinig niyo na ilang beses ang excerpt na to, pero baka iba ang light na nareceive niyo ngayon. Now, many mommies will tell me, lagi, hindi to nawawala. Mommy, mommy, where? Bakit ngayon ko lang nalaman? Sana nung maliliit pa ang bata, ang mga anak ko, saka ko nalaman yan. But, but please, do not weary. It is impossible to estimate the power of a praying mother. Mother's influence. She takes her children before the throne of grace and presents them to Jesus, pleading for His blessing upon them. As you take up the work of saving your children and maintaining your position, the highway of holiness, the most provoking trials will come. But, mothers, please, kung meron kayong mga anak na napariwara ngayon, wala na sa Panginoon, do not lose your hold. Cling to Jesus. Kumapit ng maigi. The harder your battle in your children, the greater the parents need of help from the Heavenly Father. Wag na wag kayong susuko and the more mark will be the victory gain. Kung meron nang wala sa Panginoon ng mga anak, kumapit kayo ng mahigpit, luhuran nyo ng mahigpit kasi by that, nobody, Jesus cannot say no to a mother who is clinging to Him. I hope and pray that this message will bring blessing to all of us as mothers. And pag naghiwahiwalay tayo ngayong ano na ito, ay babago ang perspective. Mamayang hapon po, habang tinatahog ko si Onyx at si Sunshine for the appeal song, and this will be also our closing song. Please, parents, be with your children this afternoon. Kung na-bless kayong umaga, mas doble kayong mabibless. We will be teaching you on how to strategize or how to teach your children to remain pure until they, they get married. This is a very hard topic and very sensitive, but I hope and pray that you will be blessed and we will be together this afternoon. Happy Sabbath. When I was just a child There I learned 
so many things that carried me through life. She taught me about Jesus and how he died for me. She taught me many scriptures I still quote from memory. When I climb down to run and play, as children always do, she got down on those same knees and prayed till she prayed through. When she bowed before the throne, holy angels spread their wings when mama prays. She knows how to pray. She lifts her voice to heaven Mama always takes the time to mention me I'm so glad she prays for me Only God knows where I'd be Without the battles that were won on Mama's knee keeps her Bible close by her side. Many pages are tear-stained, many verses underlined. She stands upon those promises when she kneels to pray. When my world falls apart, she helps me keep the time to mention me. I'm so glad she prays for me. Only God knows where I'd be without the battles that were won on Mama's knees. She's a woman of faith and she shows me how to live. Lord, help me to be a prayer warrior like she is. When she bows before the throne, holy angels spread their wings when mama prays. She knows how to pray. And when she lifts her voice to heaven, mama always takes the time She prays for me. Only God knows where I'd be without the battles that were won on Mama's knees. Only God knows where I'd be without the battles that were won on Mama's knees. Ayo po ay tumayo sa panalangin. Amang banal na makapangirihan sa lahat, totoo po na maraming naligtas na mga bata dahil sa panalangin ng kanilang mga ina. Maraming panahon na dapat ang mga batang ito ay napapariwara na, pero merong nanay sila na lumuluhod sa Panginoon at iniisa-isa ang kanilang petition. Sa Panginoon, sa mga kabataang ito. Panginoon, alam ko, marami dito na ngayon lang ang narinig ang mensaheng ito. Pero sana isa lang ang aking inihiling. I-take na nila ito na positive sa kanilang 
responsibilidad na ibinigay, hindi para i-down ang bawat isa sa amin. Bagkos maligayahan kami dahil sa responsibilidad na ibinigay na to sa amin ay kakampi namin kayo. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords na may pangako ka na hindi mo kami iiwan sa journey na ito. Panginoon, bigyan niyo po kami ng kaliwanagan na alam namin kayo ay darating na, madali na. At sana ito mga batang ibinigay niyo sa amin ay maihanda namin sa inyong paanan at harap kami sa iyo pagdating ng, pang- ng panahon na ito na Panginoon ng mga anak na inatid na, na ibinigay niyo sa amin, ito na po sila at masaya kaming ibibigay sa inyo. Panginoon, hindi namin to kaya mag-isa. Kailangan ng bawat nanay, ng banal na espiritu, ng ma-realize niya kung gaano kanya kanid lumuhod araw-araw para sa edukasyon at training ng kanilang mga anak. Pagdating ng panahon, ay magkaroon kami ng reunion dyan sa langit na bayan na ibinigay niyo. At manariwa ng aming mga memories at mga gabay na ibigay niyo sa amin. Panginoon, gabayan niyo kami sa journey na ito at alam namin hindi niyo kami iiwan. Ito lamang po ang aming samot dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Signs of the end of past fulfilling, soon Jesus will return. He will bring to an end all sin and woe, and will take His children home. Are you gladly telling others Jesus loves, Jesus said? Are you living by God's word and by His power, by His grace? to the end to we see our Savior come again signs of the end are fast fulfilling soon Jesus will return He will bring to an end of sin and woe and will take His children home are you glad He tells Jesus loves, Jesus said, Are you living by God's word and by His power? By His grace, my friend, let us hold fast to the end. Till we see our Savior come again. Happy Sabbath po Sabbath po. Ah, mga kapatid, kung um, yung patlak natin, dito tayo sa loob or sa labas, pwede naman ilatag lang ninyo yung mga tables. Tapos, hindi naman exclusive sa isang church siguro. Ano? Pwede naman tayo mag-hopping, patlak-hopping na lang. So maraming salamat. Tapos, huwag po tayong uuwi. After one hour, uh, balik po tayo. At yung meron ditong disposable plates and spoons, meron pong available dito kung yung wala pang dala na plato at saka kutsara. <laughs>